Hi everyone, I am a dental pain speaker, Dr. John. I am very happy to be here again. It's very, very long time. Uh, already I finished the implant training course on the dental pain online education system. And then secondarily, I already finished sinus course and so on. And now I'm also start the, just the full mouth rehabilitation course. This full mouth rehabilitation is most hardest course on the whole among implant training course because full mouth rehabilitation requires many surgical skills, just the GBR, leech splitting, and sinus. And then just the many prosthodontic the concept is necessary. Just the impression taking, there are four kinds of the impression taking from the fixture level, abutment level, direct indirect technique, pick up time, transfer, open tray, close tray technique. And the next one is the provisional restoration. So this kind of everything. And the next step is treatment planning making with the, after the patient discussion. So there are too many checking points. So in this course, I want to deal every factors for a successful full mouth rehabilitation. The full mouth rehabilitation, actually there are four types of the prosthetic design. First one, removable type, implant over denture, especially poor rib support area. And then fixed removable process. This is the oralized performance is very low patient. Sometimes hybrid removal type is okay. But in this course, I want to go. I want to focus just the fixed processes, metal ceramic restoration, and then hybrid type, metal frame, resin base, resin tooth area. So actually the full mouth rehabilitation consists of these four kind of the prosthetic design. But at this time, I want to go fixed type and then metal ceramic and then hybrid type. The metal ceramic hybrid difference is material is different and then concept is a little bit different. Fixed type hybrid means that is the interforamen and then distal cantilever usually. So anyway, this kind of the full mass rehabilitation, I will go 11 times for the, this course. And then I'm sure this course will be helpful to everyone. So before starting my the real presentation, I want to briefly review several cases. This patient is the 48 old male patient. And then, as you can see, this is the severe periodontitis. OK, I started the surgery. So this is the whole teeth extraction. And then at the same time, immediate placement, upper eight implant and then lower eight implant. So this is the severe periodontitis. So my plan is total teeth takeout. And then same time, immediate placement. Where is the first drilling point? Usually upper jaw, two lateral incisor, lower jaw, two canine area. Because the, this four implant is the guiding portion for the aesthetic outcome. So in the lower jaw, for example, I want to skip the surgery here. So I install lower jaw eight implant. And then sometimes this is the immediate placement required. So the very sim simple GBR. So this implant placement to the lingual side and then the gap distance intentionally to the labial side, and then the gap distance can be filled with some of the bone material. This is the autogenous bone mixing with the bios, the genogenic bone. And then bone packing to the gap distance, and then membrane covering over the healing cap area. This is the very simple method for the membrane stabilization. And then one by one, membrane stabilization. And the next step, the suturing. OK, I finished the lower side, and then upper jaw finish here. So upper jaw, my initial drilling point, the lateral incisor. This is the lateral incisor area, the guiding portion. And then three implant, three implant placement. Sometimes combined with the GBR, sometimes combined with the sinus grafting here. So this patient upper left side, it requires sinus grafting surgery. So this is the lateral window on the upper left side. And then the membrane retraction. Sometimes the membrane perforation, it can be just uh, controlled by the, some of the collagen membrane. So I apply the collagen membrane. This is the bio guy. Anyway, full mouth rehabilitation requires several implants and then some of the treatment modality by the surgical aspect. So I finish the surgery. So I apply the upper eight and the lower eight implant. This is the six weeks later. And then for the temporization, and this is the temporization, provisional restoration. So this is the before surgery, and then this is the during the surgery, and this is the provisional restoration, and then this is the final processes. So finally, upper eight, lower eight, totally six-piece segment. 
So this is the big reason I like this aid implant means the segmental prosthesis is possible. So totally six pieces approach with the 16 implant. And then this patient, this is the 15 years later. Full mouth rehabilitation is highly predictable. Of course, it's starting from the surgery and then temporization, provisional restoration, and then final prosthesis.